We have a very special treat for you this week. This is a mini week of webisodes, and it's all about art impressions and all about this lady, Bonnie Krebs. <laughs> I am so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You are going to love these projects. This watercolor is the funnest thing. And even if you think you're not an artist, all the better because absolutely anyone can do it. I'm okay. going to show you. Then I'm staying. You're set. You're staying. <laughs> so what we're going to say is come, come play, play with us. us. And here are all brand new stamps and um, what body's going to use them, but let's talk about what they are. Uh, let me first say something about these two sets. These are the so basics. Should this one away? Yeah, let's just, it? right. Uh, these are the important two to start with. So before you start these projects, you need to start with the sta staples. And I call them that because they're in almost every project. So basic flowers, basic foliage. And these all have specific uses. Uh, for the different projects. So you get two long stems in this one, you get little fillers, and then you get these accent flowers also. And then in the uh, foliage set, you get the vines, the grasses, the, uh, the small foliage for in the background, and this large one for the foreground. So they do have specific uses, and you will use them over and over again. Once you have these, you can go on and do any projects that we have. Okay, so scoot those away, and now I'll bring these. No. Okay, <laughs> right. And if you look at the uh, sample on the page, you see this little dog and he's in a pot and he's got lots of little foliage and stuff around him. Here's actually what comes in the set, these little dogs. So here's where those basic sets come in. Okay. Flowers, foliages, and then you get these things all build together. So you're sort of building a collection. Gotcha, gotcha. And everything is multi-use. Yes, yeah. correct. Everything is okay. made to use together. So when you buy more pieces, you're buying more and more versatility to use what you have. Oh, good. And we like that. <laughs> yes, it's good. <laughs> now, and there's just unlimited amounts of things that you can do with these. Perfect. So what we're going to do is to show this project, right. which is incorporating all of these. So it's really just a way that you can mix and match. Right? Correct. That's okay. right. So this is actually from two different sets. So this is uh, actually several sets. This is the little bench from the bench set. Because you can't do it dog. from one set, can that's you? That's correct. You, are not, you have okay. to. You've got to use these all together. But that's why they don't all come in one set. And I, yeah. I have people ask that all the time. Okay. Why don't you just put everything together? But uh, you it would can't be limiting. Build. It would be yeah. limiting, yeah. right? And then you, every set would have a grass and a vine, and you'd have a billion. So that's <laughs> oh. why we start out with the staples. Okay, so you're there to help us. That's right. I appreciate that's that. That's right. Bonnie. You are going to love this. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, so let's uh, let's build that project, and it's actually simpler than it looks. It looks like it's really complicated, but uh, it's just simple stamping, and we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to do this. Make sure okay. I got this in the right place. Okay, so we're going to start out with that little dog, and we're going to use kind of the magic color. This is sepia. It's number 45. These are the La Plume markers. Yes, correct. These are La Plume. Actually, I showed my six-year-old granddaughter to do it that way. She loved it. Yes. She's into stamping now. Kids <laughs> are not scared to do this. Adults are a little fearful to try, but kids are not scared at all. So that's the first step. We're going to just stamp him on there, and then we're going to take our brush and water. And this is a number four brush. Yes, this is okay. a number four, and really you just need one size, especially to start. And we're going to pull this color out of the lines. So you can see I'm dragging this color out. You know those coloring books that your kids probably had years <laughs> ago where the color was in the lines? It's oh, very similar oh. to that technique. Now you touched your fingers to it. Yes, oh, okay. I always pinch my brush off. Okay. Because we don't want it to, um, we don't want to get too much water on here. So dip it in the water and then pinch it. Pinch it off. Okay. Exactly. And we want to take that fine tip now and really darken in this little eye. Just to give it more Just to give it definition. a little more depth. And mm -hmm. you can see how that pops out that little image. Wow. And it doesn't take a lot to start. We can add more color to him later, but this is a good start right now. Okay, yes. so now we're going to go on to the next step, and I cut a little mask. This is just from a sticky note, so you can just stamp that image onto a little sticky note, cover it up, and we're going to use the positioner now to stamp this little um, bench over the top of him. So let me make sure I've got okay. this in the frame here. In fact, let's show that um, because it is that L. It's the so L square. Uh -huh. It's always fun to show clear things. And then a flat piece. Yes, and this okay. comes together in the set. So you right. get both of these pieces. Okay. And so what I'm going to do now is ink the bench and I'm gonna ink it in a couple of colors. So I'm gonna start out with the number 86. And I'm just gonna ink this all up. And I use markers because markers are the most versatile. 
You can use any water-based ink, but Marvy, I feel, is the best. And it and goes a long way, It goes a it? long ways, yeah. right? Because a lot of times with these projects, you're only using part of the stamp. You're not using the whole thing. So now we're going to come back over it again with the sepia. So two colors oh, on this. One on top of the other. Right. Okay. One on top of the other. It's going to give us kind of an old antique white. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So now we're going to stamp this right into the corner. And we can see now exactly where to place this. So I've got my little dog covered up here. And I can sit him on the bench. So that's pretty good right there. And I'm going to place this back. Let me scoot you a little bit. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to place this back now and remove this and ink this one more time. So I'm off the camera, but I'm going to just re-ink it the exact okay. same way as I did before. I had forgotten that using the flat piece to stamp, and that is you know, half of the positioning of it. Okay. Right. That's exactly right. Yeah. And then there's no guesswork. So you don't have to worry that you're going to, you know, try to figure <laughs> out how to get this little guy on the, on the bench in the right place. So now we're going to stamp this over the top. And we can just remove this. And we've got okay. our little bench back there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see I've got a little corner missing. We don't ever worry about that. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> Bonnie says, don't worry about it. Don't that. worry about it. I probably say that a hundred <laughs> times. I honestly do because um, this is very forgiving. So now we're going to do that same thing again. We're going to dip our brush, pinch it off, okay. and we're going to pull the color out of the lines. And you can see what happens. You can see this mix of color here. I'm always astounded how little it takes to give such definition. It does. It does not take much. And that's why you need to use a... Um, a brush and pinch it off instead of a water brush. A oh. water brush does not work. It's too much water. Right. So this is the best way to do it. Now you're a little bit filling in some of those lines too. Just as a little you, bit. Uh-huh. And you can see this um, oh. sort of an antique gray color. You yeah. can't get that with a gray marker. You have to use a combination of the two. It's that sepia that is the three-dimensional color. That's okay. what makes the difference. And that's your favorite. You that's use my that favorite. All the I time. use it all the time. It really is the magic color. And that's another reason why I'm partial to Marvy is because they're the only ones with a true sepia. So and it's it was a mix sepia, of color. What was the other color? African oh, violet. Okay. Those are the two wow. basic colors that everything starts with. I would never have. You wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> no. I know. See? It's that's so why fun. we need you, dear. <laughs> you know what? That's the funnest part about this is because people want to do these types of projects and they're really intimidating. Yes. They're yes. really tough to do. Yeah. But if you uh, just follow these steps, you can put out a really amazing project uh, without even being an artist. So I'm using my palette now and okay. I'm going to take uh, some of this sepia color. So you could use, now she's got a piece of plastic, but you can certainly use your craft sheet. Absolutely. Yeah. Use your craft sheet for sure. You can use any shiny surface. It's oh, just to place the color. This is sepia. Okay. And I'm just coming back in here now. I'm going to darken these little ears. And maybe a little bit on his tail. Maybe and a little on his back. That, there was a little darker drop on that ear and it just dissipated. It just dissipates. So right. Exactly. You didn't go back and mess with it. Nope. I'm nope. watching you. Less is more. <laughs> Honestly, it is. It's just the easiest thing. It's it's easier. It's better not to overwork things okay. and just kind of let the color and the stamp do their job. Okay. Okay. Good so job. let's go on now and let's add some foliage in here. So, so this is going to go back to the basic set correct. that you were talking yes, about. Yes. This is from the basic flowers and foliage set. So here's where those uh, basic elements come in. We always come back to those because they work great and there's no need to have, you know, 14 vines that do the same job. Okay. So that's why you start with one. And here's the key now is that you stamp it multiple times. Okay. I remember okay? that. Right. So we want to be sure to ink that, ink it once and stamp it a bunch. That's cute. Ink it once, stamp, stamp a bunch. Stamp it a bunch. Okay, I bet That's you've said right. that once I or do. twice. <laughs> I do say that a bunch of times too, exactly. And it's more important that you stamp it a bunch than that you even get it in the right place. Okay. I'm kind of turning my paper, so I hope I'm not going off the yeah, screen you're here. good. I'm watching you. Okay. So uh, now we've got our uh, foliage is in, so now we're going to dip it in, dip the brush in water, okay, and we're going to add water. A closer. Okay, great. There we go. And you can see what happens to this. You see how the light ones kind of fade back and the dark ones come forward? Yes. That's what gives it that three-dimensional look and it automatically does 
its job. And you're just dabbing. And I'm just dabbing, so no brush strokes. Right. We're not painting, we're just softening these lines. I almost think it's good not to focus too much on it, but to let it, like you said, do its job. Do its job. And move on. Exactly. And then it's fine. And it's fine, <laughs> right. Uh, what the problem is, is overworking things sometimes. And you don't want too much water because you don't want these little, uh, these shapes to disappear. Yeah, right. We want to see the um, integrity of the stamp. We just want to soften it all. And you don't want them to all be the same color, Correct. too. Because if right. you touched all of those dark ones, that's right. They'd all be a medium tone. That's right. Okay. That's right. Perfect. So it will just do cute, its thing. Cute, cute, cute. So now let's add the flowers. So this is from the flower set now. Okay. This is a little filler flower. You'll use this a ton. So I the first one, one was a ton. the foliage, and now yep. we're into the flower. Okay. Yep. Now we're going on to the flowers. Hence the name. Hence the name. <laughs> That's right. I get and, it. <laughs> and the thing about, here's another case for the markers, because we're kind of setting this these little blooms back in the background, so we only need a few. We only need a few. Oh. We don't need all of them. Good to know. So I'm making this now with the Prussian blue. So this is number 29, and I'm going in a circle. Oh, you didn't circle stamp last See? time. See? No, one, two, three, four, stamping. five. That's I right. I remember the five. Okay. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So the key is that you're getting it in there multiple times, kind of like the vine, because stamping it one time is too one-dimensional. It's yes. going to be flat. We want to see that. Uh, image that's in there a bunch of times. And you're just doing a few areas. You're uh -huh. not covering it. You're not doing right. one of, on top of every green leaf. No, and actually it's better to kind of keep it in the lighter areas okay. so that you're not stamping over the top of that of that dark oh. color. And then we're dabbing. And you can see how that water just kind of saturates oh. the color and brightens that all up and creates the magic. Interesting. Isn't this fun? Yes. And so far we've used four stamps. <laughs> it's so cool. So cute. And oh. nobody would guess that uh, this was stamped. No. They would think that you have created this little painting and hand, hand painted it, and there's no reason to tell them otherwise. <laughs> we sign and date everything. I'm kind of a fanatic about that. So uh, I say sign it and date it, and it's your own work. So I've put some of this blue now on my palette. Let's back up a little bit so we can see that. Okay, good. And I'm really watering it down now, and I can brush in a little sky here. Oh. So we can give, we can enclose this little bench even more. Was that the same blue as uh -huh. the flowers? Same blue. Okay. This is Prussian blue. So again, it doesn't take a lot of stamps or markers. Wow. You can do a lot with just a few things. See, and down under Sweet. here as well. So let's add our little grasses in. That's another thing that comes in that uh, foliage set. So this is a little tiny grass. And we're gonna get we're gonna stamp it. Guess how many times? I bet five. Five! Let, let me guess, let me guess. Yes! Think hard. <laughs> it's five times. You're right. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we're just gonna ink that again. One, two, three, four, five. And maybe a few back in here. It's astounding how much that adds. It does. Just it's really, wow. it's these little elements, that's why they're part of that basic set, mm -hmm. is because they're in everything, and they're really versatile, and they just kind of finish uh, all your little projects. So there see again, is. add the water, pull that color up and out. But not all of it. But not all of just, it. Just a little bit. And you could actually uh, go back to your palette a little bit, and mix a, mix a little of this green and this blue, and just brush in a little shadow here. Underneath. See how that pops everything out? <laughs> That's that kind of shocked me for a moment. I know it. <laughs> what I are know you doing? It. Yes. But see how that see how that yeah. actually created that depth underneath that bench? <laughs> you gotta shadow. have that shadow. <laughs> That's right. Oh fun. And Absolutely. we can actually add a little more of the African violet. That's the color we started with. Okay. And do a little shadow. You put um, that over on the right. On, uh -huh, okay. on my palette. You're dipping and into it. I'm going to just brush in a little shadow behind this little guy, too. Oh, and going so now on he's, to the bench. Uh huh, okay. right onto the bench. And really, this is all you need to do. Let's add one more flower kind of in the background, and okay. then we can sign and date. So here's another one from that flower set. It's and this is a, this is a long stem, and any long stem is going to work. So they all everything kind of follows the same rule. Okay. So we're going to just you, wait. You did two colors. Two on colors. That. You did the stem in green, right? And the flower in and the flower in the um, in the violet. Okay. So the purple. So one, two, three, and let's just ink that again. 
And you can use parts. You don't have to use the whole thing. Which is what you did on the flowers. Right. right? And so again, we're going to dip our brush in water. It's just magic. It's magic. <laughs> it it really is. is. It honestly is. It's the funnest thing. And especially for those people Sweet. who want to create these little paintings and are, you know, don't think they're artists. Somebody told them in elementary school uh, that they're not artists. I know. And none of us want to fail. And see, you Sweet. can. You can do that. You can uh, create a little painting just like that, sign it and date it, and put that on Darling. a card and give it away. Okay, so there it is. So then uh, for here, you just simply trimmed it down trimmed and it added down. it and put on so that can become a card front. Right. Anything. Anything. Yep. Also on a scrapbook page. I mean, scrapbookers, this is this can be for you too. That's right. Very, very That's sweet. right. Everybody wants to do oh. these little paintings and you can really can do them in just a few minutes. That's pretty amazing. Yep. Pretty amazing. Okay. Thank you, lady. We're going to come back tomorrow with more goodies from Bonnie and Art Impressions.